All right, we're busting the fat myths today. Is it a fact or is it fat? We've got an expert telling you what is true and what is false. And then can you have ice cream? That's a real question when you're trying to be healthy. We're gonna put together a really healthy ice cream. So yeah, the answer there is yes. And finally, my two experts are gonna help us through the summer, some of the challenges that we all face to make sure that we stay on plan, even though it's summer vacation. Just like the song says, I am so glad you're here, and I am so glad that Erica White is here. I'm Rebecca Rainier, and my guru, I have a couple of gurus. I think I advise people to have some people in their lives. Am I your favorite? You're that's my like favorite. Your, okay, that's you all are that my matters. favorite guru when it comes to fitness and positivity and go get itness. Here. There's like a million areas that you're a guru that you're a guru in. Well, thank I think. you. I appreciate that, Rebecca. It's the truth. She, it's totally yeah. motivating. She motivates our entire town to get moving. And so we're lucky to have Erica White here. And while we're doing this little game that we're going to do, make sure you visit ericawhite.net. She has a website that's constantly updated. She's motivating every day. On Facebook, you motivate every day. Yes. The most recent suggestion Erica uh, made was to exercise naked. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and her Facebook page blew up, I know. What? Right. She was kidding. Right. Don't, except at home, in your mind, you I didn't say that. Right. If you want to do that at home, that is fine. But do not show up to Erica's class naked. naked yeah. That will be a bad idea. Right. That we it don't, was so funny. Everyone, all of us don't need to overshare. That would be overshare. <laughs> this is my dance space. This right. is your dance space. Okay. So, but her page, Erica White, is uh, totally every day, not even just every day, every couple of hours there's a little something fun. There's a little fun, there. go, go, go. And it's, you know, you need that. Right. And it's mostly from people sending me messages in my inbox, a lot of private messages, and they ask me things. So that's where a lot of the ideas come from. And I appreciate people doing that and try to respond to each and every person. Though so I need I need a network now. <laughs> that's right. We we need to get Erica up people. She needs people. Need people. She's assistant. So does Rebecca. And we need, need yeah, if you'd like to be our people, <laughs> go to Facebook page. I'll be your people. Right. <laughs> but you must wear clothes to apply. Right. Clothes <laughs> very important. First All thing. right. So the first thing we what we wanted to do is that in the jobs that we have, I do this for the TV show. I do uh, a little bit of, you know, just motivating as well. You do it every day. Right. We get people that come in with the misconceptions that they they just think this is true and right. it's just not. Because if you tell a lie long enough, it becomes, becomes the, the truth. truth. Right. 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 Absolutely. And I it's really very important because I think that that is so stifling for people because they're not getting the results they want because what they keep hearing over and over again is not working for them just because it's not true. Right. They are banging their heads against the wall on something that it, it's it's sad because you think this is working and it's never going to work. Right. So the first one we had um, on your list today, fact or fat? Because your January is now. Yeah. yeah I right. love that. Your January is now. now. It's always the beginning of the year. You don't wait till Monday. You don't wait till January 1st. Right. Today, the next Whenever meal. Whenever you start. The next that's, meal, that's, today, right now. That's right. That's your January. Don't make it about a moment. Make it about me right mm -hmm. now. Right. I want to be healthy. I can make a right decision. every At every turn, I can make a right, right decision. So fact or fat? If it's true, it's a fact. If it's false, it's plain mm -hmm. old fat. And yes. those myths are making us fat. So first question, skipping meals. Is that one on there? Skipping meals yes. is a great way to lose weight and uh, get your diet started. Skipping right. meals. And that is totally false or fat. That is fat. That, that is will fat. make you fat. Okay, so there's a movement right now, though, mm -hmm. um, called fasting. I mean, people do um, intermittent fasting where they'll go for 500 calories one day and then they'll eat more normally the next day. Five, I mean, there is definitely a movement about that. So what is your feeling about people skipping meals? I don't agree with that. First of all, um, if you want to do something like that, there's actually a diet or a diet plan you call this called calorie cycling, which is much healthier. Okay. It finds out the minimum that your body needs, which most women and inactive meals, about 1,600 calories. So mm -hmm. if you're d dropping under 500, what you're actually doing is you're ruining your adrenal glands and you're also halting what your body does normally. Our bodies make energy and they, lose, and they use energy. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, you're actually hurting your body. It's gonna hold on to those calories. 
The second thing is, and I just forgot that thought, isn't that horrible mm -hmm. about skipping yeah. meals? Oh, yeah. skipping meals. If you're a diabetic, hypoglycemic, you think your that's blood very sugar is dangerous. It's right. You cannot Not skip meals. Not advised. I don't. All right. Um, but there, like I said, there are people that do low calorie lifestyles, uh, yes. we would suggest that you do work with your doctor on that because it's right. not something to... Well, you're to not going to gain any muscle mass either. Right. Don't, right. don't expect to gain any muscle mass or look extremely toned with that type of dieting. Exactly. Okay, so that is definitely fat, not fat. Okay, this is one that I, I have a hard time shaking this one. No, it's true. I mean, I know, open. but eating after 8 p.m. at night, eating late makes you gain weight. So what's the deal? That's fat. That that's is that'll totally make you fat. you believe that it's not good. It's not good because here it is, and we'll call we'll use fluffy instead of fat. Mm -hmm. If eating not eating after eight p.m. at night was true, there would not be any fluffy people in the world. Am I correct? Because right, right, people right. start so obviously that does not work. What does because and let me explain why. If you've eaten more calories than you needed before eight o'clock at night, and I've stuffed everything and I ate thirty two hundred calories, my body's only expended twenty two hundred calories. It doesn't matter if I stop eating at three o'clock during the day. My body's going to hold those extra calories as fat. Period. So it's not about the time you stop eating. It's your activity level, what you're doing, and how many calories your body's using. What actually that has to do with where this came from is that you want to stop eating about one to two hours before bedtime so that your body can go into a complete restful state and fasting state. It has so nothing to do really with weight loss. It's more about digestion. When you talk about the there time of day that you eat, it's not so much about what one makes you fatter or not. It makes, it's, it's that before bed, if you're having trouble sleeping, eating right. late is going to make that worse. Right. Uh, you want that time where everything takes that rest period for eight hours so that you can get after it the next day. And if I can share this, most of the time I'm done teaching or training between eight and nine o'clock at night because of my lifestyle. I've eaten dinner at 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night and and look at her. Right. And so look that's at her. A total it's myth. working. <laughs> it's okay. Working. Yeah, I know. I'm hoping it keeps so, working. <laughs> so don't worry about the time of day. Worry about right. how you feel. All right. Avoiding carbs, not fat. Ooh, this one. Avoiding carbs, not fat, is the best way to lose weight. Which is the is the enemy carb? Enemy fat? Which one is it? It's actually fat. And uh, uh, yes, actually fat. fat. You want to have Sugar. fat. You want to have fat. Look, I said it's actually. This is fat. <laughs> I'm saying that backwards. Basically, carbs are good for you. Yes. Carbs are good for you. Right. There's nothing wrong with carbs. Actually, what causes us to store fat is sugar. So people are all upset over fat and fat this and looking at fat. You need to pay attention to the sugar content, not so much the fat content. Okay. So when you're going into, and I know you already know this, Rebecca, so I'm going to let her take the lead on this, why you should eat. Um, I, I support eating light mm -hmm. over fat free. Well, fat free is a chemical storm. Right. That's, if you see things on the shelf that say that, that's where you're going to go. Wow, what are they substituting the fat right. with? Because fat tastes good. Nothing wrong with fat. Fat right. is good. Right. I'm for right. fat. Just step I'm on so your body. Fat. Right. I'm, I'm so I love fat. my fat too. <laughs> you got to love every part of you before right. you Healthy can change fats or are good exactly for you. Exactly. Accept right. what you got and then improve when you can. I like that. Okay. Foods like grapefruit, celery, cabbage can help burn fat. Is that true or false? Is that fat? Is it fact? What is it? That is fat. If this worked again, there would be no fluffy people in the world yeah. because fluffy people love celery and grapefruit. All right. Only thing so that burns the, fat. The th yeah, only thing that burns, burns fat, fat is, is activity. Activity, That's right. not right. food. Shake your groove thing. You're going to. Uh, however, the reason celery has that. Uh, reputation is mm -hmm. that it's calorie or that it's calorie neutral is because chewing it and digesting it is about the same calories yeah, negative as calories right. exactly but you know you're not going to lose weight if you eat celery right. all the time or, which is such a relief because right. who wants to eat now celery what, the reason why people see that you, uh, we understand that why you see some of the weight loss is actually has to do with their lower calorie food right. it has nothing to do with them burning fat <laughs> right cal you if you limit your calories that severely you will Drop right. some weight. On that 500 it, calorie diet right it, there. It will come right back. Right. All right. Crunches reduce the bulk in the midsection. No. <laughs> wow. Okay. Duh. I, know that that one. One. <laughs> I know that one. I know that one. All the sit-ups in the right. world won't uh, make uh, up for the what you just put in your mouth. Right. Um, the big thing is that you have to do cardio, 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 cardio. To burn the, off the right. outer layer. You have layer. to burn the fat. Now, think, we're talking fat again. We're talking about how we get rid of fat, and you have to burn it. Crunches only are going to cause the muscle to build, mm -hmm. and if you're doing them incorrectly or correctly, it's going to push the fat up and actually make your midsection look bigger. Great. That's just what I want. <laughs> All right, crunches. Okay, so lower abs, hardest part for you to t tone and lose fat from. Is that true? Lower abs? That is 
fat. You know why? Why? There's no such thing as a lower ab. Your I got abs you with that. are all here. Right. These are all your abs. All down from here, all the way down right. inside. And we right. have to, there's One no such thing as a lower ab. Toned ab. Right. Okay, so forget about that. No lower. No lower. All right. It's best to be in some type of shape to work out. Oh, I bet you get this all the time. Erica, when I lose a little bit of weight, I'm going to start coming to your classes. I promise, girl. I'm going to be there. I'll be there. I just got to get a real little bit of this, and then you're like, okay, so how are you going to do that? Food. It's always okay. at a restaurant. People hear that. They feel guilty when I I'll walk come. in, right? <laughs> that is false. What you need to do is to check with your doctor before you start any physical activity. The reason why is you have to make sure that, first of all, not your just ticker, your, your everything, joints, right. everything. It's not just are you physically able to, can your body withstand the activity that you want to do? It's good to check with your doctor. That's what you need to do. Okay, uh, muscle, this one is just driving oh, This me. is I yours, like I know you want to take, I'm gonna, nuts. let me ask it. Okay. Muscle weighs more than fat. Rebecca, can you give us the answer? A pound of muscle is equal to a pound of fat. You need like an invisible mic up here. Same. A pound is a pound is a pound, pound is a pound. Right. So one, if a fitness professional tells you that, you're gonna go, what? No, they Ask look for different. Back, right Ask there. for your money back. They look right. different. That the shape of them is different. Fat takes up more space. Bulkier, right? It's okay, but a pound is a pound is a pound is a pound. So just right. Stop Throw saying that. Throw that one out. Muscle. Don't say I'm gaining muscle, so I'm gaining weight. No. no, 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 let's not, not say that anymore. All right, protein <laughs> shakes, they're going to help you build muscle. No. Yes, no, right. No. Most are full of sugar. Right. You really have to watch the sugar content, and you really want to go natural, as natural as you can when building. What helps build muscle is weight training, not mm -hmm. proteins. These are aids, and when you're talking about protein shakes and protein bars, you only want to make sure that you're watching the sugar content. Right. You need to make your own because pretty much what's out on the market, you're going to be very concerned right. about. Just okay. bake some chicken. All right. That's right. I like that. Okay. So EricaWhite.net. Erica's going to be right back. We're going to make a healthy ice cream treat because that's one of our summer Yum. concerns. And then Erica will be back and we'll talk more about how to keep uh, on target during these vacation months. Stay with us. Back that's, back. Look at that one. Do you have a social security disability claim which has been denied or a workers' compensation claim from a work-related injury? Call the Social Security Disability or Workman's Compensation Lawyers at Elk and Elk. Call 1-800-ELK-OHIO. Elk and Elk. Serious lawyers for serious injuries. Through the years, Modern Floors has tried to entertain you with their commercials. Our point was simple. Modern Floors is a family business and sells carpeting for less because of our low overhead. 55 years later, this hasn't changed. Modern Floors sells carpeting from only 50 cents a square foot. We can service all your flooring needs with professional installation and you'll save money too. Oh, by the way, did we tell you where we're located? We're a little hard to find, but stand in the middle of Secor and Alexis and yell modern floor and I'll come out and get you. Harbor and behavioral connections are now better together. This is a big step in Harbor's evolution as the provider of choice in Northwest Ohio, providing excellent, timely care. This 